Same with politics tonight. North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn is back in the news tonight, but it's not for something that he did. There's new reports out now saying that the House GOP leadership may have funded efforts to get the freshman congressman out of D.C. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger tonight has been digging in on the details of all of this. Derek, how was all of this reportedly done? Well, we need to say it wasn't just Cawthorn, though he apparently was a big part of it. The report comes from the Washington Post, though, and it says that House GOP leadership was putting money into efforts to support other candidates and helping in other opposition efforts, and Madison Cawthorn's reelection campaign was a big target for them. The news that there were efforts in D.C. to get Madison Cawthorn out may not be much of a surprise. Even before the primary that he lost earlier this year, there were reports that Republican congressional leadership were working to minimize his influence if he got elected. But a new report in The Washington Post says there was also an effort to stop that re-election altogether. He was a very young, dynamic, um, and pr pretty you know, outspoken member that they were hoping to guide a certain way, and it just didn't end up hap uh, going the way that the leaders wanted it to go. Emily Brooks is a reporter for next to our sister publication, The Hill. She says the news is significant. How far will some of these members who ran on these anti-establishment lines go in challenging Leader McCarthy? Madison Cawthorn has faced clear scrutiny in his time in Congress. Queen City News has told you about some of the reasons why. Madison is wrong. If there's any thug in this world, it's Putin. That's House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy reacting to comments from Cawthorn about the war in Ukraine. Cawthorn also made comments about LGBT issues. He brought a gun to an airport twice, one of them in Charlotte, and there's also his traffic record. But the Post story says his comments about cocaine use and sexual orgies in D.C. circles threw all that over the edge, with McCarthy reportedly using friends and fundraisers to help fund efforts to go against Cawthorn's own re-election effort. Cawthorn lost his primary to Chuck Edwards. It wasn't much of a surprise. It was not much of a surprise, and... Uh, a Democrat or a Republican or an unaffiliated voter would say, can you blame them? Susan Roberts is a political science professor at Davidson College and noted Cawthorn may have been used as an example. Kevin McCarthy is being very aggressive about wanting to get a workable majority. As for how this has gone over, well, no one really knows yet, but many think regardless, the move could help give McCarthy a coveted role. House Speaker. Leader McCarthy, as we've seen, is trying to get the types of members that will actually advance some legislation and not just uh, be, well, as former Speaker John Boehner said, legislative terrorists. As part of our due diligence, we did reach out to Cawthorn's office for a comment on this. We have not heard back. Cawthorn has also not made any statements about the Washington Post report on social media. Brian.